Hello Doraemons! Welcome back! So for this video, again we are going to look into the solution of a Unix code. But it is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to teach you one command of or one set of code you have to write to solve any question in the Unix which is asked on IRA, PRA or CPA. So this is going to be really easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a simple pattern and I have one sample over here which is already solved I guess and this is a little sampling sum and here what I'm going to do is let's see I'll show you how you can access every single column data let's do it so first of the one command you need to learn to solve any question is this arc command you don't want to worry about the grep command set command or cut command or any other commands in unix in order to solve the tcs ira alone if you're solving or focusing on only solving the tcs ira question then this arc command is more than enough so this arc command starts with a word called arc and then it will have one single quotes so within this single quotes only the all the or command uh, elements or components what you can say will be added in so first word is going to be begin and it should be definitely in upper case so if it is in a lower case it will not work it is going to throw you an error and first arc and then we are going to say by begin beginning by separating the datas in the columns and rows and we are going to save how you want to split the data so here all the datas will be split using either a symbol a pipe or a star or a comma or an ash like this so here we are going to give like field separator which is usually given as fs and we are going to just give field separator is going to be ash and it should be in double quotes because it should be considered as a symbol itself so if you give just normally as it will uh, ash it will not work you have to give it in double quotes and if you want to declare any variable by giving a semicolon you can declare any variable like i'm just giving c is equal to zero and you can use it if you are going to like uh, in, inside the code if you are going to directly assign a value to the variable then declaration is not required if you are going to change any value like if you want to calculate maximum or if you want to calculate the total like that in case you have to declare a variable so after that so this is the first part the initial part so you should put arc it should be in smaller case and then there should be a space so this is the most important leave a space and then put a single quotes first everything uh, you write after writing the arc and single quotes should be inside that single quotes and then you're going to say begin all in capital and then you're going to give a space and after that you're going to give separate all the fields with this field separator which is ash and it should be in double quotes and if you want to declare any variable you have to put a semicolon and then you can like declare any number of variables if you want to declare two or more you can just put semicolon and do the same that's it put a semicolon and then here in this place you can add v is equal to zero or something like that you can do that and after this there is a part which is called as the loop part so here you, this part is called as the loop part so what it will do it will iterate row by row so after splitting the values it will be iterating row by row and how you will uh, like represent the column is using this dollar one and dollar two like i'm just going to copy paste this over here and i'll show you so this is our input and this loop part is going to iterate through this row by row so it is going to be one and this one is going to be two and again this row it's going to be three and this one it is going to be four and this one it's going to be the fifth row so this how this is how it's going to iterate it just go through one by one rows and how do we split the columns is 
each of this column is going to be this first column it is going to be called as a dollar one inside this loop alone and this column which we split it using this ash it is going to be called as dollar two and this count which is going to be called as dollar three so this is how we access it and in this loop part you should not write loop it only has the brackets and inside it you can just give us print of dollar one comma dollar two and comma dollar three so there is no, no pre-written rule like un uniques to it should be in this pattern or like that you can use any pattern whichever you learned in any of the languages and you can even use this one you can just put dollar one comma dollar two comma dollar three you can do that or if you want to put it in bracket that will also work fine so now i'm just going to run and show you let me comment this part out and i'm just going to run it yeah so it has print uh, this entire table without this ashes so now every single data is accessible so now i'm just going to this id if you want to remove the header part and in that case what you can give is there is something called as nr so everything over here this one two three four five it will be called as nr and here you can just put n r is greater than one as i've given the n r is going to be one two three four for every column and how it is going to be handled so the n r for the first header is one so we are just given us n r greater than one now i'm just going to run it it will omit the header part and that's it and if you want to write any condition like here there is a condition it has to print only if the count is going to be only if the count means the dollar three the count is this one dollar three if the dollar three is greater than 22 or 23 something so here i'm just going to put if and the bracket and this if is going to be same it is same in every other language if dollar three is greater than 22 then this is like if then you should give like a bracket the curly braces and let me show you yes it is if it is greater than 22 then just print again i'm going to print the entire row so dollar one or let's just print dollar one let's see what we get so now we have got only two three four which has the value greater than 22 which is two three four to let's see that one and that's it in this case if you want to calculate any total or something you can declare like a variable which i used over here and you can if removing this i'm going to remove this if part delete it and then here c is plus equal to dollar three which has the count i'm going to have the total of all the counts and here this part is going to only loop now if i print like c what will happen is it is going to print every other value but i want only the end value so in that case what you can do is there is one more part in awk command which is called as the end part so this should be in capital end and it is also going to have a curly braces and in this place you can just print c so now what will happen is it will only print the c after completing this loop part as we already know in every code after completing the loop part only we'll be printing the value final value like that it also has an end part and you can use it to print the end value and if there is no count if you want to print like no sampling found here also you can write if c is greater than zero then like you have to put the curly braces inside that you can write like this or else you can write like print no sampling found and like that also we can do and this is the most uh, important command or you need to know to solve any question that's it 
and one more thing if you want to declare any like dictionaries you can also do that how to declare a dictionary is um, if you want to count any if if there are some subjects like C, uh, CS and ECR like that and if you want to count those subject in that case you'll be using a dictionary I'll also show you how to use a dictionary so uh, here instead of oak and something I'm going to just replace it with CSC and EC just two departments And there are different questions in my blog post you can check that and use it to solve all these things which i taught you today and now just i'm going to run it and here in this place how you can declare a dictionary is you're going to do the same with an array and dollar two of plus plus so this is one of the magical command which i learned uh, and what this will do means it will store this department name and also it will store the count so now i'm just going to so this is like a dictionary so you have to use the pattern to print it so i'm just going to give remove this if part so here we'll be using you here you may get confused which pattern to use so for this one in dictionary you can use for and you can put a bracket for i in a that's it and here as we are not using the C I'm just going to delete it for I in A and then you're going to usually put the bracket and print off I comma A of A of I same thing how you do in every other language and just I'm going to run it you can see there is three CSE and one ECE it has counted it three CSE and one ECE and if you want to print the highest of them then you are going to sort it so you have to just pipeline it this pipelining symbol is used to uh, like send the output of one command into another command so just put sort and it will sort it as it will sort it based on this alphabetical order the first column if you want to sort it based on the second column you can just put ifin of k2 which is column 2 As you can see, I've just given sort, sort will or I'll usually solve in like sort in ascending order. So it does just solve like sorted like one and three. And if you wanted to sort in it in reverse order, then you can just put R over here. Now you got three, one. And if you want to print only the first line, then there is a command called head. Now you have to again pipeline it and head of minus one so if you give minus one it will print only the first row now i'm just going to run and show you yes and if you want only the last line or least value or oh, one thing you can do is you can remove this r and sort it in alphabetically and use head or you can use last of minus one oh, sorry you can use tail of minus one so head and tail so now we got easy of one and that's it so these are the different commands which you have to learn to solve any question in IRE which is asked on unix so that's it guys and uh, if you want to like check anything if this word is there then here you should put like if of whichever column it is column 2 or column 3 then you're going to just put equal to equal to and you're going to check whether it is CSE like this and that's it so this is how you'll be using it that's it so only for csc now it is storing and it will be having only one row in it and you can use like this and yeah that's it guys i hope these commands are very helpful and this is a little tutorial video i think this is more than enough to solve any question in ira so yeah and uh, this is your very own go doremon signing off i'll meet you guys in the next one until then keep learning keep rocking and peace out cheers bye